Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for May 5th, 2022, from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, One Flesh. Yesterday, we heard that our bodies were created by God for God. As we continue this chapter from 1 Corinthians, Paul adds a little bit more to this idea. Verse 15, do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it was written, the two will become one flesh. Paul here names that the sexual union of a male and female is part of that one flesh relationship that is designed for marriage. You may remember what Moses wrote in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Paul then links this one flesh relationship with Christ. So if we are married and are also a Christian, we have this mystical relationship with our spouse and with Christ. What Paul is wanting us to consider is that we should really care about our bodies and avoid sexual immorality because there's a lot more going on than just some simple casual interaction. Verse 17, but he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body. Again, Paul is really stating there's a lot more going on with this sexual immorality than the world considers. Yes, all sin is indeed forgivable, except the sin against the Holy Spirit, that is the rejection of the Holy Spirit. However, Paul does add that sexual immorality is sinning also against one's own body. Let me clarify something here. Yesterday, I used the idea of alcohol as something that could dominate us. We know the overuse of alcohol does indeed create some damage to our bodies, that physical damage. But this, this sin of sexual immorality is in a different category. Because of the one flesh union, there's even more damage, not just physically. Yeah, there could be some physical damage, but also spiritually. Remember, we are created with a body and a soul. Verse 19. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. I like to say that we as human beings are body, soul, and spirit. The spirit is the Holy Spirit within us, at least for Christians. The Holy Spirit is indeed part of us. So St. Paul notes clearly, you are not your own. So it does matter when we sin, especially with sexual immorality. Yes, we were bought with the price of the blood of Jesus. So yes, we are forgiven, but we should also take special care of the body that God has given to us, that God has redeemed for us. The way we use the body in this world and the physical relationships with one another does indeed make a difference because we are going to keep this body for the rest of eternity. Yes, it will be raised from the dead, and yes, it will be glorified without any stain of sin, but it's still going to be me. It's still going to be you. God's peace 
and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.